K2K Squad, welcome to another story video. Now, this is the time, the story that when I got drunk for the first time. So, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And, well, let's jump on to the story because I got, because nigga got to go to work. So, it was my mom's 45th, 45th birthday, right? You know, we had family members, friends, all coming down. You know, celebrate my mama turning 45 and shit. So, this girl that I like, I invited her to see if she comes. Because, you know, she got kids and everything. And my mom said she could bring her kids. So, I'm thinking, you know, everything's going to go go all right. Then, you know, we was like a few hours into the damn party. You know, my first, the first relative that got here, got here was my cousin. Because they stay, they stay in Little Joy. They came down. You know, they had to help mom. Go get the food from um, Juicy Crab and shit. So when they got back, you know, me, my cousin, my brother, we just chilling ways until they get back. And then everybody, then everybody else came now with the drinks and stuff. And you know, we about to get ready to be turned. Like, you know, be on that, you know. It was about to be lit in that motherfucker. So, uh, so I waited. Then, you know, Ma had wanted me to fix her home. Um, Fixed a little Bluetooth speaker for her music to work and shit. Well, that was like after I had to go, after I went had to go over the damn QT go get some damn ice. Cause my cousin was like, "Come on, Key, go, come on, Key, I'll take go get that ice." I'm like, "Fuck, alright." So, as I got back from getting the ice, my friend Toya let my little bro drove to drive the car and shit. And so, so he. <laughs> This little, this little nigga, man. Like, okay. So we come around the corner from over there, and uh, as soon as we came around the corner so damn fast, then you know he stopped. Then he tried to back up. He backed up so damn fast, hit the fucking tree over there by the fucking mailbox. I busted out laughing. <laughs> I said, "Oh hell no!" Nah. They ain't gonna try to blame that shit on me. Talk about, so stop, 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 stop. I'm like, nigga, you did that shit. So now to the music part. The music, she wanted to fix her damn music thing. And my little brother was like, my little brother was like, he could turn on this hot spot for the music for so it'd be in that for the music to work. I said, all right. So you know, I went to go get the you know the little little tablet so I could hook this motherfucker up onto it. Then like, then she told me not to because like the music was already playing. Then. It was just crazy right there, cause y'all they were confusing me and shit. Then my little brother was like, I told Keith to turn turn on the hot spot, but he was acting like a little girl. I'm like, this I'm, I wanted to say fuck you out loud. And then like when I tried to hook the thing up again, she told me not to let it play. And I so I'm like, what the hell, Jelante? I mean, you know Jelante talking about then. What the You know, her, she was getting on my nerves. Table getting on my nerves. The girl that I invited was not coming. So I just told I just opened up that damn bottle of Hennessy. Huh. That Hennessy bottle right there. So I just took tore it up. Just did it again. That's how bad, man. Like they were making me mad, bro. So hold on, wait a minute, y'all. So then, you know, I took like like five shots of Hennessy that night. Then one of my cousins and my cousin's wife, you know, they had mixed the shit up. They call it they they call a drink called the Incredible Hulk. Something like that. And so <laughs> they call they they call it like I'm not a Hennessy some shit. I don't know, but the drink's called the Hulk. So, I pour this, they pour this shit in a cup for me. Now, keep in mind, I was always kind of fucked up because I had like four like four or five shots of Hennessy. Then I drunk that shit. And so, I, I think it was like, what, like a few, like ten, ten minutes, five or ten minutes later, I started, I was drunk, bro. I was fucked. I was like moving around and shit. I was laying down on the toilet leg and shit. She caught me on snack. You know, I was on Snapchat and shit, I was like, I'm drunk! Yo! You know, just saying, burning out, burning out shit. Like, what the fuck? And like, is he alright? 
It was a, it was a, and they already knew it. They already knew I was drunk anyway. So, I think it was like a few minutes later, my stomach, you know, I went to the bathroom and started fucking, I, you know, start throwing this shit up. I'm like, fuck. So, I threw it like, I don't know how many times I threw it. It was like, okay, I had threw it like three times the first time. Then I came right back because I thought I was through. So I went outside. <laughs> and then, uh, then the shit came right back up again. So I ran back to the fucking bathroom and started going ah! again. I did that shit. I did that shit like five times. My mom looked at me like, that'll teach your ass. Then, you know, she went to put a rag, get a rag and shit. And, <laughs> and yeah, I was fucked up, man. I was fucked up. I ain't drinking no more after that. At, I ain't drink no more after that. I ain't drink, you know, I ain't drink no, nothing else after that night. I still drink, though. I don't give a fuck, because I like to do that shit again. That shit. <laughs> so, more, it was more than why I had to go to work. You know, I woke up. My stomach was so as fuck. Then my hair, hair, hair was hurting. Then I had to be the working shit. And, like, I got a hangover. I'm like, fuck. So, <laughs> my cousin took me to work and everything. <laughs> he took... They told me they told me not to do that shit no more, but you know, I don't listen, so I'm gonna probably end up doing that again someday. But yeah, that's the story, y'all. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on my social media. And I'll see y'all for the next story vlog. Cause nigga gotta go to work, so I catch you.